Welcome back, folks. We're dealing with a classic method whiskey sour. Let's get started. This is a shaking cocktail we're going to build in in our Boston glass. Just like all our other cocktails, we're going to start with our non-alcoholic ingredients first. This one being fresh squeezed lime juice. We need about an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice using our citrus press, which means a whole lime. Now that we have our acidity, we are going to balance that out with our sweetness. We're not in fact going to balance it out completely. It's in the name, whiskey sour. We're going to keep it sour. If we have an ounce of lime, we're going to use half an ounce of simple syrup. Bubble two. Being in the name again, whiskey sour, we're going to use a whiskey. Predominantly used is bourbon or rye. Being in Canada, I'm going to go with my Canadian whiskey. Bubble, two, three, four, five, six. One and a half ounces. Now for the main ingredient for our classic, egg whites, pasteurized egg whites. I need a whole ounce of this. Egg whites actually don't add any flavor to the cocktail. It's just going to add a nice mouthfeel. You're going to see the foam layer that's going to happen after I shake this. What I like to do with my whiskey sour is I like to dry shake it. Dry shake it is basically a method when you shake with no ice. This will help to emulsify the egg whites and mix them up real good before I start to chill with ice. You can see that start to happen already. Now I'm going to chill with ice. Ice is our friend in this case. We're going to strain this over fresh ice. The ice in here has already done its job. This goes in a low ball glass. Three cubes over. I do three cubes over because there's mix. Strain that out. And now you'll get to see that meringue top that I was talking about. Milky, creamy. Lovely. As this starts to settle, that meringue foam will slowly start to come to the top. Now for the garnish. A cherry. And a couple dashes of these, Angostura bitters. The way I talk about bitters is, bitters are just cocktails, kind of like what salt and pepper does for food. Adds another depth of flavor. Our tongues are very blunt instruments. We have five main taste buds, bitter, salty, sweet, sour, and savory. In this cocktail already, we have two things, sweet and sour. By adding bitters, it adds another depth of flavor. I like to drop that right over the top. Two dashes. With a short black straw. And that is a classic method whiskey sour. Cheers.